Hey there, science explorers. Are you ready to dive into the wonders of the universe? Have you ever wondered why things fall down and don't just float away? Why does a leaf drift gently to the ground instead of soaring into the sky? It's all thanks to a super cool force called gravity. This force is what keeps everything anchored to the Earth. Gravity is like an invisible glue that holds everything on Earth and in the universe together. Without it, life as we know it wouldn't exist. Imagine you're holding a ball. Feel its weight in your hands. When you let go, it drops to the ground. That's gravity at work. It's pulling the ball downwards. It pulls the ball towards the center of the Earth. This force is always acting on us, even if we can't see it. Gravity is why we can stand on the ground, why oceans stay in their basins, and why we don't float off into space. It's the reason why waves crash on the shore and why raindrops fall from the sky. Gravity has been around since the beginning of the universe, way before even dinosaurs roamed the Earth. It's a fundamental force that has shaped everything we see. It's everywhere, all the time, quietly working its magic. Isn't that amazing? From the smallest raindrop to the largest planet, gravity is always at play. Now let's explore more about this awesome force. There are so many fun experiments and activities we can do to see gravity in action. Are you excited? Let's get started. Remember that ball we dropped? It fell straight to the ground because of gravity. Gravity pulls on everything equally, but heavier objects are a little harder to move. This is because they have more mass, and more mass means more inertia. That's why a feather falls slower than a rock. The feather is much lighter and has less mass. The feather is lighter, so air resistance affects it more. Air resistance is the force that air exerts on a moving object, slowing it down. But don't be fooled. If we dropped a feather and a rock in a vacuum where there's no air, they would fall at the same speed. This is because there's no air resistance to slow the feather down. This is because gravity pulls on them with the same force, regardless of their weight. How cool is that? Gravity is a constant force that acts on all objects with mass. Think about jumping on a trampoline. When you jump, gravity pulls you back down. Gravity pulls you down, but the trampoline springs you back up. The springs store energy when compressed and release it to push you upward. Gravity is always there, even when other forces are at play. It acts on everything, from the smallest particles to the largest planets. It's what keeps you grounded and prevents you from bouncing into space. Without gravity, we wouldn't be able to stay on the ground and life as we know it wouldn't exist. What if there was no gravity? Imagine everything floating around, you, your toys, even your house. It would be like being on a spaceship all the time. While that sounds fun for a little while, we need gravity to live. Without gravity, our muscles and bones would become weak because they wouldn't have to work against the force of gravity. Plants wouldn't know which way to grow and our atmosphere would simply float away into space. It's a good thing gravity is here to stay. It keeps our world together and allows us to live, play, and explore our planet safely. Section four, gravity's reach, from apples to astronauts. Gravity is one of the most fundamental forces in the universe, affecting everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. Gravity doesn't just exist on Earth, it's everywhere in the universe. It's the invisible force that pulls objects toward each other, no matter where they are. It's what keeps the Earth orbiting around the sun just like a giant cosmic dance. This gravitational pull ensures that our planet stays in a stable orbit, providing the conditions necessary for life. The sun's gravity is much stronger than Earth's because it's much bigger. This immense gravitational force holds the entire solar system together, from the smallest asteroid to the largest planet. Even stars in faraway galaxies feel gravity's pull. This force is what binds stars into galaxies creating the vast interconnected web of the cosmos. It brings them together to form galaxies, creating beautiful swirls of light across the universe. These galactic formations are a testament to the power and reach of gravity. Gravity is like the conductor of an orchestra, keeping everything in harmony. Just as a conductor ensures that each musician plays their part, gravity ensures that celestial bodies move in a coordinated manner. When astronauts go to space, they experience less gravity, which makes them float. This microgravity environment allows them to conduct experiments that are impossible on Earth. But even in space, gravity is still there. It's just weaker because they are farther from Earth. This reduced gravity affects everything from muscle strength to fluid distribution in the body. It's just weaker because they are farther from Earth. Yet this slight gravitational pull is enough to keep the International Space Station in orbit, circling our planet every 90 minutes. 
Section 5. Gravity's Fun Facts Did you know? Did you know that gravity is different on other planets? On the moon, the gravity is much weaker than on Earth. That's why astronauts can jump so high on the moon. And on Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, the gravity is much stronger. If you could stand on Jupiter, it's made of gas so you can't. You would weigh much more than you do on Earth. Gravity is a fascinating force that keeps our universe in balance. Section 6. Gravity, our everyday superhero. Gravity is pretty amazing, right? It's the invisible force that keeps our feet on the ground, lets us play sports, and even helps us drink through straws. Without gravity, our world would be a very different place. So next time you drop something, remember gravity. It's the amazing force that keeps everything together, from the smallest grain of sand to the largest star in the universe. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and stay curious. Science rules.